Why is it that a band would want to come in today and record straight to vinyl, like do a you live mean, show? Straight down to the lacquer? Straight down yeah, to the lacquer. Well, because it's, it, A, it's scary, and it's the most direct form you can get. You know, it goes straight from the stage through microphones right down to the lacquer, so it's the performance at its best. And, you know, all those early Sun records and things like that, that's how they were recorded. You know, mm. they were recorded right down to a lacquer. You had a little reco cutter, a uh, presto machine. Drop the cutter head, Elvis plays his song. That's the take. There was no overdubbing. It was immediate. It's an amazing process, and it's mm. also terrifying, because if you make a mistake up there, sure. or I make a mistake, that's it. Once the cutter head is down, it's full commitment to the, yeah. end of the end of the side. It brings out the best in people, I think. Sure. From what, what I can tell from recording a bunch of them here, people really rise to the occasion. That once in a lifetime moment yeah. that happened right there in that space, and that's the closest representation we'll get, right? Yeah. And it goes straight to that lacquer. There it is, right no now. No manipulation, Nothing. no redos. Mm -mm. It's exposing. Yeah. I wonder if that's why we, we've lost so much of the artistry or craftsmanship because we have this ability to redo or to retake or to uh, autocorrect. All of it's got its good and bad, you know? I mean, it's yeah. like, you know, because you know, digital is, is so helpful in so many ways. I mean, sure. just in file delivery or what it, what it means to people like kids these days who, to produce records. I mean, you can do it like Billie Eilish, laying in your bedroom, singing into a microphone with your feet up on the bed. Yeah. And you're recording on a laptop. I mean, there's something brilliant about that because it's power to the people. You know what I mean? And you can create without having to have all this kit that goes along with it or a serious investment. But there's just something to working in the analog domain. And when you're playing direct to disc, that's an investment. You have got to get that thing done. It's a it's a rush. Yeah. You know, it's now or never. And I like it from engineering because it's you do it and it has to go down. And yeah. you're doing a live mix over here too, so you have to get the mix right and then make it happen over there. Yeah. Like working with Jack on sessions, I've had the, you know the lucky break to work with him a bunch of times on different records, and it, he's very immediate like that too. Like you better be recording because he's going to come up with something right then and there, and it might be the keeper. And yeah. So you better have recorded it, you know, and it better not be distorted. And he's not like harsh about it. It's just, it's just that he's doing it fast and yeah. it's going. So. It's always fun. Yeah. Some, you get on sessions and it can be really long where you're just like, everybody's picking up, oh, the hi-hat's too loud, or the hi-hat, and you're like, oh my God, if I have to think about another hi-hat beat, you know? It's just so nice to have it happen. Right. I mean, maybe that is what happened with Elvis and all those early guys is that they go in there and they're just playing their hearts out. I think our culture is, is so longing for authentic experiences, mm -hmm. you know, because everything is so redone or digitized or yep. corrected mm -hmm. that there is something innately human with the one-time guy in there just playing his heart out. Yeah, I mean, th that's how it all started, right? I yeah. mean, it started with blues guys playing blues, and it wasn't right, yeah. but it was great, you know? What about the sound of it all? Like, what are we losing as a culture when we're only listening to things that are compressed and decompressed and manipulated? And There are inconsistencies and incongruities between the left and the right and harmonic distortion and pops and crackles and things that add to the excitement of listening. And I think that that's something that it's like, it's like the fractal of it all. There's so many different little elements going on. The smell of the, the record jackets, the whirring of the thing, and, and just all of those inconsistencies that make it seem, they're unpredictable, it's a, and, and it's exciting. You can go all the way down the rabbit hole of turntables and amplifier systems and speakers, or you can just enjoy it and have whatever you have to play it back. When you grab a record, you can look on the back of it and see all the credits Right in front of you, you got the artwork, there's liner yeah. notes. It's a real experience to sit down with that record, put it on the turntable, do the whole thing, have the whole kit, go to the record store and buy it. Yeah. And I think that's another thing, like we all grew up in this city going to really great record stores. And you will go in there and you'll find something that you never knew existed just by leafing through bins. And it's really fun to go into a record right. store and ask somebody, hey, what's good? Yeah, yeah. And they go, these are the records I picked for myself. Well, it's a personal and relational experience yep. versus, you know, Someone, an algorithm telling me what I should listen right. to. Right, what yeah. it thinks you should listen right. to based on what yeah. you've been clicking on that day, you know. And, you know, not to slam digital, I mean, I, everybody likes to have the portability of listening to things and the ease of it, you know, and not damaging your records, but it's, it's just not the same to press a button on your phone and yeah. listen to it as, as opposed to going through the process of dropping that needle and having that magic happen. This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Visit ReconnectingRoots.com to watch the full episodes or to check out our music and podcast. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep making more. Thanks for watching.